Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install VMware Workstation 11 and VirtualBox 4.3.22 is the latest version of the VMware Workstation as well as VirtualBox. So I am going to go to show you both installation on Ubuntu 15.04. So this is your new Ubuntu 15.04 virtual event. Uh, every step, every find you can find below to my video in the description box so let us begin now this installation the first one is new i'm going to download you this vmware workstation level so you step to the first one update and you need to upgrade so step two is to download and step three is to check the file permission of the download then you need to give the full permission to execute the download then after this you need to uh, see these uh, permissions are having the full again or not after giving the permissions then step 6 is to start the uh, installation procedure of your VMware workstation level and then step 7 is your VMware will be run and uh, like I am saying that if you have any development tools you want to install this one step is there and then let so if it is installed or not we check this is step 9 then command is there step 11 is to install kernel headers step 2 is to install kernel deliver and the last one again is to run so this all these steps and i'm going to show you workstation 11 how to install and virtual box so let us begin so first of all just i am going to open the terminal here by click on the search bar and type here terminal and here is terminal open and here we need to let me come to this button yeah double click and press print okay now first of all i'm going to update here so for that update Sudo, or you can log in directly with the root type sc to log in the root apt hyphen get update here and then you need to type and and then type sudo apt hyphen get great okay so i'm using sudo because i didn't log in in the root i'm using normal user so that's why purpose i have to use two times root typing the password so I know so it takes some time to complete your update and upgrade. Now as after update and upgrade and I'm going to download the workstation level from the website also you can download just open your browser and type here VA workstation on the Google level I need to register and download here for the supported Linux. So now I'm going to show you in your my terminal. So for that one you need to type backend then use https semicolon slash slash use and then you need to type your downloads and then you need to type your three then I find vmware.com use slash software so please remember you can also download from the direct website just what you have to do is you need to go to the uh, website of this workstation find the you can find the google and there we need to download latest version you can download on the website of this workstation and there after that you need to select your uh, you need to register before downloading so after that you need to type your workstation okay then use siphon full and then use siphon level zero point zero then use siphon two three zero five three that dot u and u array so this is a command to download your work so now to press enter here and it's going to be connecting and it's waiting for the response so here it's connected only the size is 418 is the mb which is going to be downloaded now please remember when you uh, uh, directly uh, let me show you the from the website also till this will be downloaded so you need to register here from this website before downloading so here is my Google typing with Google here. Okay. Press enter. There. Yeah. You need to type here VMware or extension use level. Press enter. Now here is the download link. Click on this link on the website of VMware extension. 
you need to select here version see you can select here 10 and also like 9 also shown scroll down and need to select your windows plan purpose linux for the people just scroll down go to the download and here it comes to here you can also select from here version also directly so for for 12 design this side 64 bit operating software supporting click on the download link and it will be right here login page so you can see login and the password you can create account if you don't have this you can click to register here account here after registering you need to address your type and this password that will be start down. so this is also another method for downloading and this one is also another method for new terminal terminal you can download but here is your how you can save your time but without registering your account so you need to wait for some time now i am going to check the permission here i have been downloaded now i am going to check in the permission type ls so here is my um, what you say it's for your workstation level so we write this permission only so we we'll move to the next step to give for permission here Give this one okay and then we need to uh, type here permission which i am giving now now i am giving the permission here for that one so this is the command ch mot mode space a plus x you can give here 744 also and give a space you need to type here capital okay, U use press a tab to get a full problem and choose A okay tab C press a tab key to get a full command here you can press enter here so now we will type ls happen to check the permission see here you can see we have given the permissions to not only everyone but others and users I have been given the full permissions not to everyone so after that now we are going to execute here we are going to use sudo we will run the file here sudo give a space and dot slash and we will type here capital V and so that means press a tab to get the press a tab so type in the password now installation extracting it's going to be open now with 15 minutes it will come screen so now you can see on the screen here we came welcome to the VRBA workstation level we came on the screen to accept the license agreement before the installation and here I need to make a small this one ok click on next click on accept press a tab to get a click on ok next here we we'll like to check for the products update on status. No, I do not want to check on status the products. So we move to next. We will like to have the major sentry and ominous. No, if you want to go for the yes, you can go ahead. Okay, this is a initially user workstation will be with the chatting correctly. You are not able to share the user other users, so you can give any name here. So I am using cloud only. So click on next. And this is the location which is going to be share and touch for machines. So, so if you want to change, you can change the location. But I will keep the default only. Okay, next. Please enter the port number to use HTTP for the workstation. By default, HTTP port number is 443. So HTTPS A is 80. So HTTPS is for 443. Okay, click on next. So here is showing you this. You need to enter the license key. If you have purchased, you need to enter this license key here. If you don't have any key, you can skip this lesson to go for the next. The products will be for you. Press next. And now, please wait. It's showing. And now, here is copy the file. And the installation is starting. Now, it's configuring and installing. So, my friend, that has been installed successfully. And you can see on the screen, uh, it's showing okay we just pressing finish okay and now we going to click on here and we type here we am where to check our workstation here you can see our vm player and workstation is there clicking on this icon workstation will come up a new 
so before you can the server modules must be compiled okay install it now I will tell the password okay let us clear this one now that's coming wait we need to see where it is here. Oh, so far.